What's up everybody, uh, my name is Brandon and today we're talking about Riverside. Now you've either clicked on this video because one, you just love me and for that, I love you too. Or two, because you're just curious about Riverside, how it works and how you use it. Now if you're not familiar with Riverside, what is it? Well, most people are, are gonna know it for being the best online video recording software. It is the standard and the best option when it comes to doing online recordings for either podcasts or interviews or whatever you're doing. It just, it is, it's the best option out there. The reasons for that are because one, it records everything locally. So you get high quality recordings from both parties that are in the interview or the recording studio, which is really nice. And it means that if anybody is a little bit laggy during the call, that Riverside will automatically sync everything up in post and you won't actually see that lag in the raw recordings. They make it really easy for anybody to join in the call. So all you have to do is create a studio and then send an invite link. They join the link, boom, it's all set up. You don't have to worry about dealing with OBS or you know, getting a Discord account or anything else. So if you are someone who is currently doing or thinking about doing an online podcast, an online interview series, just use Riverside. It's the best option out there and makes your life the easiest. But I think this is where most people's knowledge of Riverside ends because it's got a lot of features that not a lot of people use to help them make their content, especially for my content creators out there who are doing things by themselves or are looking to produce some things by themselves. Now, the reason I say that is because a lot of people are underutilizing Riverside and the things that it can do. Now, there's a host of features that I wanna talk about, but one of the big ones is that you can upload your own videos to Riverside. So why is that important? Well, let's say for instance, I'm a streamer. One of the best ways for you to grow as a streamer slash content creators is to produce content from your stream. And in order for you to do that with your streams, you're gonna have to take your stream, bring it into CapCut or DaVinci Resolve or Premiere or whatever editing software you use and then trim out a segment and then sort through it. It just takes time. It takes time to get those clips. And so Riverside will do all that for you. So Riverside has this feature called Magic Clips. And what it'll do is it's gonna take my VOD and sort through the best moments for my stream using Riverside's AI and produce sections that I can use to post for social media, which is great because you basically have your own content creation assistant that's gonna do the dirty work for you. And the best part is that once it's pulled out those clips, it'll do all the captioning and formatting for you as well. So you can reformat and caption the video however you like. It's got a text-based editor. So if there's a certain section that you don't like, you can trim out that section as well and then hit export and there you go. Essentially saving you hours, if not days worth of time trying to get short form content to post across your social platforms. Now you might think, hey, this is a pretty basic feature, but for anybody who's made short form content or has had to try to make short form content from streams or YouTube videos, you know how time consuming this is. Now kind of following that train of thought, uh, yes, you can upload your own YouTube videos. So again, for instance, I have this YouTube video that I just did. If I want to take a section, put it on shorts and then link it to that YouTube video, I could do that. Just upload it to Riverside, Magic Clips, boom, control from content. And then yeah, one of the other big features that Riverside has now is its AI transcription. So it's gonna auto transcribe all of your footage for you and then you can do a few things with it. One, like I just mentioned, you can do text-based editing. So if you're working with a particular section of your video and you would like to trim out that section, just delete the text. It'll stitch the remaining parts together and then boom, good to go. Now, obviously it's not gonna be able to match the capabilities of using a editing software like DaVinci Resolve, Premiere Pro, Final Cut, but that's okay because Riverside knows that. It's not trying to replace those. It's just giving you the option to use it to make your life easy. So for instance, if you're working with a clip and you realize, man, I really wanna use something specifically here that only DaVinci can do, do it. Just export it bring it into DaVinci Resolve and you're good to go. That's probably one of my favorite features of working with Riverside because I do help produce a couple of podcasts and when you use their studio or when you upload videos, it'll auto sync things for you and you can export high quality footage and the transcription so that you can then bring it into, for me, DaVinci Resolve and I can make a multi-cam recording or if I wanna do some specific captioning work, I can then use that transcription that we got from Riverside 
in DaVinci Resolve. And if you're curious as to how easy all this is, I'm gonna go ahead and hop in their studio and show you how to do everything in, I don't know, like a couple of seconds or so. Alrighty, so once you make your account, what you're gonna wanna do is go to your dashboard. And I've already got a couple of studios set up here, but if you wanna create a new one, hit this big purple button up top, new studio, give it a name. We'll call ours the Super Studio, and then hit enter. So after you've created your studio, it's gonna take you to this little screen. Hello, everybody. And here you can set up your peripherals. So, you know, your camera, your microphone, whatever you need to set up, that's all right there for you. And then if you're planning to start your call, you can hit join studio. Or if you wanna do some of the other magic features that we've talked about, you can go to the dashboard. But let me just go over the studio really quick. Alrighty. So we're in the studio. Um, there's a bunch of quality of life things that you can use to help with your recordings or your interviews. I'm gonna cover a few of them. The first is that it is really easy to get somebody to join. Like I mentioned, all I have to do is send them this link. They click it, they join, they put in their webcam if they have one in their mic if they have one and you're good to go. You can start your meeting really straightforward and easy to use. A lot of the layout and settings are probably gonna be familiar to you if you've used um, things you know, like Skype or Zoom or anything like that. But what I really wanted to show you guys real quick is if you go up top here to your settings and you get your settings menu open, I just wanted to cover a couple things. One, over here in the recording settings, this is where you can turn on your advanced quality options. This will be where if you wanted to record in 1080p or 4K, you want to make sure that is toggled on and this will up your res and save your recordings in a higher resolution. The other one that not a lot of people know about is you can actually uh, live stream your calls if you want to. You don't have to, but you know, if you're doing a live podcast and you wanted to stream it to your Twitch, it lives here. But that is the live studio. You know, it's, it's pretty straightforward to use. Let's go ahead and hop into the recording studio real quick. So this is a quick call that I had with a friend of mine. And here's where we can start using some of the magic features in the program. So I clicked on a recording, and if I wanted to pull some highlights from this call, all I have to do is hit generate clips, and I'll go ahead and do some thinking. And after a few seconds, it's gonna pop out um, a couple options for you to use, and it gives you some recommendations for titles, which is really cool. So um, say for instance, I wanted to go to this one here, reflecting on work and upcoming something. So click on that. This will launch you into Riverside's web-based editor. See, we have our transcript on the left, so I can do some of my text-based text -based editing here. And then I also have our whole timeline. If I jump to the section that it pulled for me, you can see we have our conversation over here on the left. And as it plays, it'll highlight some of those words for me. It'll give you some options for how you want it presented. So you can change the layout. So you can have a single viewer if you'd like that. You can also mess with the captioning styles, change the font. And a nice little touch is you can actually add your own logo and watermark your shorts if you're worried about people um, ripping off your videos from you. Some really nice quality of life features. If you'd like to do more or if you're ready to post it, all you have to do is go up top here to where it says share and then export. It's gonna do some thinking. We can go back to our recording page. But let's say I wanted to take matters into my own hand and produce this a little bit more. All I gotta do is scroll down here and then we have each of our participants separated for us. So if I wanted to, I could go over to say my video recording, hit this download button, this high quality download button, click it. And we have options to have either the raw recording or to already have it synced, which is awesome. And you have similar options for your audio as well. And they also have the transcript ready to go as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and download that guy, download the subtitles. We can go ahead and open up our editing software of choice drag in our video, drag down Eric's as well. And then all you should have to do is drag and drop that guy in. And now our conversation is captioned. And another gem that you might not know about is their show notes. So if I go over here to the right and I hit generate show notes, what it's gonna do is use the transcript it's generated for you and create one, a summary that you can use and say your YouTube descriptions, some takeaways that you could use for some short form content. And my favorite part is that it gives you chapters. So if you've got like an hour long or two hour long conversation, you've got some chapters that you can put in your description as well. And just like we were mentioning, you can upload your own video. So I have a past video that I've edited right here and click on that. When I hit magic clips, it's gonna give you a whole slew of short form videos that you can post to YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, wherever you're trying to post. That's why I cannot stress enough that Riverside is not just a recording platform. It's 
really your one-stop shop for making and producing your video. They do have a free version. If you just want to check it out, give it a run, see if you like it or not. And if you do decide you want to use one of their monthly subscriptions, you can use code WAMPUS for 15% off. Hope you guys found the video useful and I'll catch y'all next time. Peace.